if we try to do our algorithms just to see these done out one additional time, uh, the first one, A, we are going to be using the nearest neighbor algorithm. Nearest neighbor algorithm says start at a point and go to the closest point from where you are. We are told that we are starting at vertex A. Vertex A, we look around, we can travel 18 to C, 20 to E, 38 to F, 29 to D, or 24 to B. The shortest segment is that 18. We will travel the, sh travel the shortest from where we are currently located. I'd be at point C. From C, we now look from C, what is the shortest segment we can travel? We can go 32 to B, 13 to D, 31 to F, or 4 to E. 4 is clearly the shortest out of all of those. I'll travel at 4 to E. We are now at E. Nearest neighbor says, look at the available segments, travel the shortest one from where we currently are. We can travel 11 to B, 25 to D, or 22 to F. 11 is the shortest available, so we'll travel that 11. We are at B. Nearest neighbor, what is the shortest available path from where we are? We can travel 14 to D, or we can travel 36 to F. 14 is the shortest. We are at D. The only segment we can use is that segment to F, because we have not yet traveled to F. We travel to F, and since we now have a Hamilton path that goes all the way around, we need to connect back to the beginning. What we did was we created a circuit that went from A to C to E to B to D to F back to A. Our weight would be the sum of all that. So we have 18 plus 4 plus 11 plus 14 plus 7 plus 38. Whatever that adds up to, I don't want to do it right now. That's the nearest neighbor algorithm. From where you are currently located, mark your way around based upon the shortest segments. Next, the greedy algorithm. The greedy algorithm. Come on and highlight. The greedy algorithm says we're going to start at A, but we're going to build a circuit by looking everywhere what's the shortest segment. Anywhere up there, the shortest segment is C to E. We want to travel that. The next shortest segment anywhere smallest number available is at seven. We're gonna travel that seven. So we're going to build, even though those are not connected right now, we're going to piece things together until we have a completed circuit. The next smallest size anywhere up there is the 11. We'll use that 11. After that 11, I will then look what's the next shortest segment anywhere up there. Uh, 14, uh, nope, uh, 13. Can we beat 13? No, 13 is the shortest. I can use 13 going across. Now we see, okay, everything is linked together so far. We just need to expand. After 13, the next shortest segment is 14, but we cannot use 14 because that would give us three lines, three edges into D. That is not permissible. One edge in, one edge out. After 14, the next is 18. Uh, cannot use 18 because that would give us three edges connecting to C. After 18, there's 20. Cannot use 20 because that would give us three edges into E. Uh, 22 is the next. Cannot use 22 because that would give us three edges into E. 24, uh, we can use 24. After the 24, I notice everything, we have a chain going all the way around. We have a path connecting everything. Each one has at least one in or two, one in and out. We need to connect the endpoints. So now I'll go all the way down, connect the endpoints. Our circuit begins at A, but now we just go in order following the track. So I can go to A, to B, to E, to C, to D, to F, back to A. A, B, E, C, D, F, A. 
it is excuse me, exactly the same as if we went the opposite route. If we went A, F, D, C, E, B, A, just going backwards, the weight we would add together those items. That is our greedy algorithm. So the nearest neighbor algorithm, sometimes this is better. The greedy algorithm, sometimes this is better. Sometimes you can actually just piece things out and try things out and find something better. These are just the series of steps that we follow to get to a, an approximate solution. It is still an open problem in math. Um, close out of this.